Hi, this is the third part of Zopare Precision and Potency tutorial. And today we are talking about how to approach the best precision. And I will give you a kind of blueprint how to do this. Before we start, of course, uh, make sure that you update to the latest version of Zopare. I'm working on the testing branch and the current version is um, 1.2.7. And now I would say, let's start. What I normally do is I figure out if the words I want to be recognized are really triggered by Zopare, which means um, that I take a look into the config file. Um, so this config file is exactly like um, the one in the Git repository, and I adjust the threshold. The threshold is the value, um, is a volume, and um, this, if this threshold is reached, Zopare takes the input from the microphone and start the processing and the analysis. And um, to test this, you start Zopare in the endless loop mode and in the both mode and just say the activation words. Start, Wetter, Termine. And you can also do this from different angles and different distances if you want um, the activation. Wetter, Start, Termine. And as you can see, two of the words did not trigger Zopare. And this means the threshold is too high. We lower the threshold and start and repeat the process. Start, Termine, Wetter. Start, Termine, Wetter. Um, we do this until we find a good threshold. I think in my case, I tested it out before. It should be 180. So this depends a lot on the used microphone and on the words, the distance and your environment. So you have to test this, you have to tweak it. Start, Wetter, Termine. So now each of the words is triggered. And um, at this, um, at this uh, time we can start adjusting other config options. So I have three words, very short words, and I can lower the silence time, which means um, if the silence is detected one um, a half a second later, the analysis is called. So this is a kind of speed thing. It gives you speed better results, more real-time results. So um, we also adjust this option. It's uh, time in seconds after the analysis is forced. For example, if you play loud music, then you would pile up a huge kind of analysis because um, the music um, is non-stop and um, Zopare just piles up uh, a big chunk of information and um, to, yeah, to split this, the, um, this um, two seconds or after two seconds of um, loud input or of loud input without uh, silence, um, the analysis is forced and the process starts again. <clears throat> We also want um, to take a look into the um, into the characteristic length 
and the progression steps. I think the progression steps, I talked about this in, uh, in the last blog post and videos. And I um, try for this microphone and for this environment, I um, simply pack 50 frequencies into one value, which is quite a, um, a rough um, characteristic. But as we have shorter words, I lower the um, the chunks. So each 512 bytes um, chunks that are read from the microphone are packed into bigger chunks and these chunks are analyzed. So each 2048 bytes are analyzed in terms of frequency domains. So we don't change um, the frequencies. 22,000 is yeah, in the range of the human voice and should be good for us. Um, and all the other values I blow. And I tell you later on why I do this. Um, but the distances, I want to have high distances as the distance is the difference of the trained word and um, the input of the analyzers. Don't touch this as we don't need a short term memory as we have only one word predictions here. And uh, after we figured out or we, we, we adjusted the configuration files, you normally train Zopare and you compile the dictionary. I did the training um, up front, so I only have to compile the dictionary. And after that, we start Zopare again in both mode and in an endless loop mode to check out the trained results. Start. Wetter. Termine. What happens right uh, now is that I said three different words and the, um, the prediction was only for one word, which is okay as we have um, lowered the values and we want now find if Zopare is able to find the beginning of each of the different trained words. And for this, we start with high values. We check then um, if the word is correctly recognized, the beginning of the word is correctly recognized. And if it's not the case, we lower the value until we get the correct results. So we can um, get rid of the verbose mode here, which makes it a little bit more readable. Start. Wetter. Termine. Termine. So two of the um, of the words are correctly recognized, and the third one is not correctly recognized. And we now try to lower the value and repeat the process. Start. Wetter. Termine. So now all three words are correctly recognized and this means that the beginning of the word um, is correctly recognized in um, our case here. What you can do is um, say the words from different angles, from different distances, and figure out and adjust the configuration um, options to make sure that the beginning of the word is correctly recognized in all circumstances. <laughs>